Welcome back, Tumblr Makers. Okay, so today I'm doing this one for my friend Shirley. She is a new Tumblr maker, and I have started up an amazing conversation with her, and I absolutely enjoy every time we chit-chat and talk. And she's trying to learn how to do tumblers, and she's doing a lot of practicing techniques and things, um, and she's really struggling with working on plastic. So I'm gonna work on a plastic bottle today. So I'm gonna show you how to glitter a plastic tumbler. So first, obviously you wanna remove the top and set it off to the side, because we're not gonna use that. That'll be for at the very end when this is finished. Um, you see, that's this is what you're gonna start with. I'm gonna do it in glitter today. Um, so we're just gonna do a basic glitter on a plastic tumbler. So if you haven't seen my how to prep a cup, it's very similar. You're gonna prep your cup the same way, but you aren't gonna sand the plastic. Mainly because if you sand the plastic, you're gonna be able to see all that sc scarring of the plastic from the inside of the tumbler. And we really just want a pretty cup, especially if we're gonna be selling these. Um, the, the epoxy loves plastic. So you also don't have to really worry about um, the scratching and kneading it because the stainless steel is a little different. It, 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 it Epoxy still sticks to it wonderfully, but it really likes to stick to plastic. So you don't have to worry about scratching it up. Um, so today your supplies are gonna be your spray paint color for the base color that you wanna do. You're still gonna base paint it. Um, your tumbler, plastic tumbler, the glitter color of your choice, your epoxies. Oh, I got those mixed up, A and B. Isn't it nice that I matched my epoxy to my cup? <laughs> I didn't even notice that until now. Um, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. I always have an X-Acto knife on hand just for who knows what. I got a pair of gloves, my electrical tape for taping off, my popsicle stick for stirring, and my uh, measuring cups. Um, okay, so we are gonna get started and I'm just gonna do a quick taping off. I'll just go ahead and do this since this is another, kind of another simple, more basic video. So this is more for our newbies. But you know, every you can teach an old dog new tricks sometimes, and some of us that have been around in the Tumblr world and we've gotten good at this, we still need to learn some stuff. So I'll go ahead and do it just in case somebody needs to see this. So I tape right on the edge of where that lid would come to a stop. So I'm gonna tape, I wanna actually glitter down in there, but I don't wanna glitter this edge that the uh, the, the top of the tumbler is gonna, we're gonna call this tumbler. I don't know what you would call a plastic cup, a plastic cup. Um, plastic sippy cup and um, you want to go right on the edge of this um, lip where the the top of the thing screws down and just follow that line with your tape on around and like you guys have seen me do numerous times in my videos I leave the tail and tuck it and there's some fuzzy stuck there from this wonderful blanket I do with my things on but that's fine so I leave the tail so it's easy to grab to pull off. I don't have to go hunting or trying to pick while it's spinning around. It, this little tab is just easy, grab and go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this outside and paint, base paint it, and I will be right back with you guys when it gets dry. All right, as you see, we have it um, spray painted and it's totally dry. Um, I actually put it in front of a fan to make it go a little faster so we can keep on moving with this one. Um, so I'm gonna do this with the hang method. So I'm gonna stick it right here just like you guys have seen me do in my other videos when I do my hang method. Let's see, I'm gonna angle it right here into the camera. I'm gonna put on my gloves. Okay. So really working with um, uh, plastic <laughs> is really no different than working with your uh, metal, I'd find. I don't really change too much or do anything that much different. So that's why I'm trying to show you guys that it's really similar to your other. I'm just going to quickly mix my epoxy off the side here. Okay guys, I am back. I am wearing my epoxy mask because I just mixed the epoxy. Um, as you can see, we have the cup the plastic cup and I've spray painted it pretty well. It's got a really nice coat on it. I've got the taping still on it. I've got my epoxy mixed. So I am gonna go ahead and do this with the hang method. I'm gonna move my plate out of the way. I'm gonna move my rack into view for you guys here. I'm gonna put my epoxy on the top. It's probably a little more than I need, but we're gonna go for it. Maybe if I end up too much, I can show you kind of how to problem solve through this epoxy, uh, 
epoxy mess if you get it dripping instead of really, really thin. If it's a little too thick, I'll show you, but I, this might be okay. So, work it to the edges. Slide it down the cup. Do it this way so you guys can see it on camera. too much on this cup but not enough to actually show me any of the problems that you would get so if you put if you're doing a hang method and you put too much like I said in other videos if you're glittering it it's not going to be too big of a deal because it's probably not going to slide with the glitter on it's going to kind of stick in place but if you're just doing this as your final coat like this would be too much if you can put your a finger line in it and you can see like movement and almost draw in it you have way too much on your cup you need to be so thin that you can't almost move any more epoxy. This is moving super easy, which means I've got too much. But that's okay for now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys now. I'm gonna take my silicone brush. I'm gonna get the end. I'm gonna, I'm swooping it up into the extra epoxy. And that's how I'm gonna get this inside ridge. I'm gonna brush it down and then smooth it around. Actually, yeah. So I'm kind of taking some of that excess that's why I said it's okay if I have a little more because I'll show you guys how to work through it. I'm going to slide it down, get the excess on the, the brush, and we're going to coat this inside rim using the brush. If you know, my finger is too fat. My, my little weird little alien golem fingers my little are too big to fit in this crease, so I'm doing it with the brush because it can fit right in there. I just kind of move. It doesn't have to look pretty. It's going to be all hidden with glitter. I'm just making sure I'm going around it a couple times to make sure. Not every cup is going to have this lip, but a lot of these plastic uh, cups that you're going to buy do actually have this here. So that's why I'm like, this is a perfect little cup to show you guys this quick method. Okay, so I feel like I've got it pretty well coated. It looks shiny, pretty shiny everywhere. All right, so I'm going to stick this off to the side. And I am going to glitter this cup. So I'm going to move this out of the way for just the time being. We'll move it back in a minute. Bring my cup in. Take my glitter. And like I've said before, I don't like the um, shaker bottles. They're great. If, if they work for you, they work for you. But I find it more hassle to try to pour my glitter back in when I have to remove the uh, shaker part of it to put my glitter back in. I'm always in a hurry. Orders to fill and tutorials to film for you guys. So I don't want to take the time to fiddle with that. So I use these paper plates. I love it because they just fold and keep working. And you see how fast that was? I didn't have to remove anything to put the glitter back in to keep pouring. Okay, I specifically chose a chunky glitter to show you guys with this hang method how to handle the chunky glitter and get it laying smooth and flat. I'm just making sure the glitter gets on all around on that lip and it is well coated. Okay, so I'm gonna move this glitter off to the side. I will sort that out later. You guys don't need to watch while I work on that. Oh, okay, so this is gonna have a, some fallout. Let's see, I wanna angle this right under the camera for you guys. Okay, so now it's all glittered pretty and we're just gonna press Press all that chunky glitter straight down to the cup. Down to the cup. And I'm gonna press, press. And um, as I've mentioned before, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just reiterate, I always mix a fine glitter with my chunky glitter when I'm doing it. When I'm doing a cup, always, regardless of whether, whatever method I'm doing, because the fine glitter will fill in all the cracks of the chunky glitter. So I'm just pressing it down. There you go. Okay, so this cup is gonna just cure now. And then I will be back with you guys once this is cured and we will throw it on the turner and I will show you uh, how to epoxy one of these. Oh, actually, nope. Before we go, pull that tape because we don't want that epoxy curing over the edge of this tape. So we're gonna let that cure just like that. 
and then we'll retape it for the next step of the epoxy. Okay, so there you go. It's that easy. Okay, guys, we are back. As you can see, the uh, cup has cured. The glitter is stuck on there real well. I have taped it back off because I don't want to get any epoxy up inside these uh, frets, threads for the lid. I'm going to talk real loud. I've got my chemical mask on because I was mixing epoxy. Um, these foam noodles, this is a smaller foam noodle. Some, you know, some of the foam noodles are actually really big. Some are smaller. This is a smaller one. It fits perfectly inside the lid of this uh, plastic cup. I've got my epoxy mixed. I have my torch ready. I have my applicator brush. And we are rolling. So we're going to go ahead. I've already got this mixed. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I'm going to use my applicator brush on this one. You guys have probably seen me use this in other videos for things. Um, I'm using it mainly now because I don't have my nitrile gloves and I really don't want to come in contact too much with this epoxy. I'm still waiting on my order of nitrile gloves. Um, so always wear nitrile gloves. This is just me. I've got about five mLs of this epoxy mixed. It's a small little cup that I'm showing you guys on today. So I don't need a lot of epoxy. Just enough to coat it. The, I'll put the link to one of these brushes down in the uh, menu, guys. So if you don't have one and you're looking for where you get one, I'll put a link. They're easy to find. They're really, really handy. Because they just move the epoxy really well. And you can do this with your finger. It's no big deal. But like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to avoid touching the epoxy today. Until I get my order of nitrile gloves. Uh, okay, so I'm just making sure it's thoroughly coated all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. And just like I did uh, for the hang method, I'm going to use this brush to apply the epoxy down in this crack. This is where this comes in very handy. I'm just dripping it in. I hope you guys can see this with the camera in the lens. What I'm doing is I'm just I'll try to keep my hand down here so you guys can see it better. I'm just dipping the tip of this in, sliding the epoxy in and mushing it into this little space, making sure to get it on both sides so that glitter gets sealed in there real well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I can see, I, I don't know if you can see on camera, I can actually see when it's um, coated the glitter because it gets real extra shiny and slippery looking. I'm just going to go let it go around one more time. Just check it out. And that took only one coat of glitter to cover this cup with that hang method of application. We're going to get this on the bottom. There we go. So I will repeat this process probably one more time. It usually takes two coats to get a nice smooth finish over uh, glitter especially with the edge. So I'll let this coat cure. I'll do a very, very, very light sanding along this little rim of the bottom just to get the little bumps, even if I don't catch them around the first time. So what I'll do is I'll put this layer of epoxy on. I'll let it cure. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna do another layer. Then I'll do a little bit of sanding. I'll add my decal, my vinyl, or my picture, or whatever, I, or my little details that I wanna add to the cup. I'm just scraping every little ounce out of here and just getting it on the cup. Okay, so that's pretty well covered. So then I'm gonna put my decal on after that, after the second coat, and do a, just a light sanding, add my decal, and then we're gonna go back over and put a second coat. So that's for this coat, guys. We'll come back and uh, I'm just gonna let this one roll. Okay, we're just jumping back on here real quick. I forgot to torch for you guys. Again, you've probably seen me use my torch. Just, um, it's a butane lighter, I got it. I will put a link as well, so if you guys don't have a torch, and you just quickly zip over it. This is, even though you can't see the micro bubbles, they are there because I mix my epoxy so furiously. So there's going to be micro bubbles and this is just going to pop those micro bubbles because if you leave the micro bubbles, even though you can't see them, it will give you a rough texture on the surface of your epoxy just from that bubble being underneath the surface. Even though if you can't see it, you will definitely be able to feel it. So just hit it with a little heat. That'll pop all the bubbles and keep it going. Okay, we're gonna come back when this is all done. Okay, we are back. Um, this one has two layers of epoxy over it. And this is why I love doing this chunky glitter with the hang method because 
I did not have to sand at all on this edge. It's smooth as glass. It's beautiful because when you do the hang method and you press that glitter down, it lays so nice and flat that with two layers of chunky, I've been able to get a nice smooth surface on it and with no sanding. Um, so this was done on this plastic cup. It's a little sippy cup. I will probably hand this off to my kids. They're they obsessed with glitter, just like their mommy. Um, and this is just done on a plastic. You can see inside, there we go. You can add decals and cover it with more epoxy if you want or add details, but I just wanted to do something basic for you guys to see me work with plastic. Um, I do work with plastic quite often just to get a, a lower price point for my uh, sales. If, if somebody is looking for something but they don't have the budget to spend on a $50, $60, $70 dollar cup, this is an, a great option for them because you can get the plastic bases a lot cheaper and it brings the price down. All right, so there you guys. I hope you guys got some good information out of this. Um, I hope you saw that it can be done. You can work with plastic. Um, if you want to test the theory, you can do a test run on one and let it sit for two weeks and then try to strip it. And you will see that, that um, it is all adhered to that plastic so, so well. It's very, very hard to strip these just like it is any other cup. And it works really, really well. So you can work with plastic as well as stainless steel. Um, if you liked what you guys saw today, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep seeing more videos from me. Click on the little bell that makes sure you guys get notifications every time I drop a new tutorial. And uh, yeah, leave me comments. Help me improve my, my videos for you guys and my tutorials. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know what you think I should change about how I present things. I try to move quick. I know I'm a little quick for some, but um, I know you guys also don't want to sit through a two-hour video. So I try to get the information out quick and to you guys easy in an easy, clear way. But feel free to leave comments and let me know what's going on and uh, give me some feedback. And we will keep moving with more fun videos. And I hope to guys see you on the next one.